Do you ever feel like your mind is just constantly drowning in the sea of information and your head just feels like it's about to explode? Because well, I do. And that's not very strange, because today we are bombarded with all these YouTube videos, podcasts and books containing all this valuable information and eventually it just gets too much. You feel overwhelmed, making it difficult to focus, make decisions and take action. You're also scared that you're gonna forget about important things and as a result of that, your productivity suffers. It's like being trapped in a cycle of mental masturbation where you're busy doing nothing. If any of this sounds familiar to you, congratulations, you came to the right video and today we're gonna fix this problem for you. I will be going through a couple of steps that you can take and if you follow along with these, I'll make sure that you will learn how to feel less overwhelmed, making sure that what you learn actually sticks and I will also give you a small little exercise that you can do right after watching this video. So make sure you sit until the very end if you want to get the most out of it. So I was reading this newsletter of one of my favorite YouTubers, Chris Williamson, the other day, and he was talking about this concept called post-content clarity. And what this basically means is that whenever you like finish a book or finish watching a video or finish listening to a podcast, you evaluate whether that content you consumed was actually valuable to you. Now, this is something that's very relatable to this topic and it's also a piece of advice that I think most of you will benefit from because one of the biggest reasons why we suffer from information overload is because we mostly consume information that we don't actually need. What you have to understand here is that most people don't actually consume content that is benefiting them and is good for them, but rather content that just gives them the most feelings and emotions. And that's because our brains are hardwired to look for these things. So I like to look at this in a way where there's two types of people in this case, and I can guarantee you that you're one of them. So hear me out on this. So the first type of people here are the ones that are consuming a lot of content that isn't actually benefiting them, but they are convinced that it is actually benefiting them. Those people are the ones that keep telling themselves, there is no such thing as learning too much, or I don't know enough about this subject yet for, in order for me to take action upon it. So what I'm gonna do is just learn more about it first. And then the second type of people are the ones that are like a little bit further and actually realize that most of the content they watch isn't benefiting them, but they use it as a coping mechanism and they see it as valuable entertainment. And those people are the ones who you will hear often say things like, I know it's not valuable and good for me, but at least it's better than watching a Mr. Beast video. You need to be honest to yourself here and actually admit that you're one of those two people and also realize that both of these mindsets are not good at all. Because if you don't do this, you will always stay stuck in this mental masturbation cycle, stuffing yourself with too much information and therefore you won't make any progress because of it. So I've been guilty of this myself as well, where I have watched at least over a thousand videos about self-improvement on YouTube. And if you were to ask me how many of these videos actually helped me and actually changed my life, I would say it's about 10% and maybe even less. But once I became aware of this problem, what I started to do is implement this post-content clarity strategy into my life, where after each video I watched, I would ask myself, was this actually valuable for me or was it just entertainment? And after doing this a lot of times, what I started to realize is that most of the content I consumed wasn't actually beneficial to me and that I needed to get rid of it. So what I basically figured out here is that I needed a new diet, a new information diet, so to say. Because what you have to understand here is that just like the diet you have for your body, there's also a diet for your mind. And just like when you stuff yourself with too much food or too much junk food, you can also stuff yourself with too much information or too much information that you don't need. And both of these will have negative consequences. So I always used to be this guy where I would go on YouTube and I would just keep refreshing my homepage all the time and just see if an interesting video would pop up. And eventually I would just click on this video that would catch my attention the most. And then after I finished watching it, I would always be like, what the hell just happened? Why did I just watch a video about the five best side hustles to start in 2023 when I'm not even interested in that? 
So what I did in order to change my information diet, what I would do is change my strategy. And actually before I would go on YouTube, I would ask myself, what do I want to learn about today? What are the topics that I'm interested in that can actually benefit my life right now? Then after I answered these questions for myself, what I would do is I would go on YouTube and specifically search up videos only related to the topics that I want to learn about. And I would also check to see if any of my favorite YouTubers already made a video about these subjects, because then I know it's actually valuable information and I won't get clickbaited. So if, for example, I'm stuck in a rut and I need some advice on how to get out of a rut, what I would do is just go on YouTube, see if my favorite YouTuber, Copy made a video about this. Then I would be like, well, shit, he actually has a video about this topic. And I would just skip all the other bullshit and just watch this specific video. So what happens when you use this tactic is that you basically consume less content and you only consume content about the things that are actually beneficial to you. What happens then is that you will probably make the same amount of progress in your life because you're skipping all the bullshit that you don't even need. And I would even say here that you're actually making more progress in your life because you actually have more mental capacity to focus on the things that you are actually interested in because you're not stuffing your brain with all this information that you don't need. And therefore your brain doesn't have to hold on to all of that information that you don't need. It's kind of like when you're playing a game of Pokemon in this case, and you have to defeat like a gym leader. So let's say there's a gym leader who has a team full of very strong fire types. And you only have a team of a water type and a grass type. Now, if I were to ask you, how are you gonna defeat the gym leader? You would say something like, well, I'm gonna use my water type. And if that one isn't strong enough yet, I'm gonna level up my water type. And the reason why you don't level up your grass type and don't use your grass type at all in this case is because it's useless and you want to progress faster in the game and therefore you only focus on the thing that's important for you right now. So if you want to overcome this problem where you're always flooded with information and you just always feel very overwhelmed inside of your head, what you have to do is realize that taking in more information is not actually benefiting you. You actually make more progress in your life when you're focusing on less things. If you try to read every book in the library, you won't finish any of them. If you buy every lottery ticket, you will never really win. And if you level up your grass type, when there's a fire type gym leader to beat, you're just a stupid f Now, one of the most annoying experience that I had when I suffered from information overload is that I would always forget about all the things that I had just learned. I would consume a lot of content and learn about a lot of things, but eventually I would just forget about all of it and my life didn't change at all. And worst of all, I always thought that I was just stupid for this because I always used to think like, oh, I simply just don't pay close enough attention to the video I'm watching or the book that I'm reading. But then at a certain moment, everything started to click for me. And I realized to myself, well, yeah, of course you're not gonna remember everything you just learned about because you're not actually doing anything with the information that you got. I was just consuming content all the time, not doing anything with it, and just hoping that my life would magically change. But what happens instead is that my mind was full all the time, I didn't do anything to clear my head, and I would just forget about all of the information that I learned that could have actually served my life if I did something with it. What you have to understand here is that if you actually want to remember the information that you learned, you need to start implementing these things in your life as much as possible. So a while ago, I read this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this book, it's basically like a full guide on how to deal with certain social situations and just make people like you more. So when I read this book, what I decided for myself is that I was not just gonna read it from front to back in one take, but while I was actually reading the book, I would implement the things that I would learn from the book. So for example, there was this one chapter in this book which explained the concept of 
calling people by their names more often and how it can make people like you more. And I remember like the day after I would go to my job and actually implement that thing and actually try it out. And what happened here is that I've noticed that people wanted to talk to me more and they enjoyed the conversation more because they were smiling more and they wanted to talk to me for longer periods of time. And because this was such a meaningful and valuable experience to me, I'm still able to remember it and I'm still able to tell you about this. So I basically just prove my point that you remember more things if you actually take action on the thing that you have learned. And the beautiful thing about this is that when you had an experience like this, you can just say to yourself, I've done this, I've tried this, and now I can just tick it off. And then it frees up more space in your head again because you don't have to like constantly remember yourself like oh i need to try that one thing or like i need to try all these other things like once you start ticking these off and you actually do them it frees up so much space and then you can focus on other things again and you don't just feel overwhelmed all the time anymore so if you're one of these guys who always has this huge to-do list inside of your head and you're always feeling overwhelmed and scared that you're gonna forget about these things, just stop consuming some content for a while, grab a pen and a piece of paper, write all these things down and tick them off one by one. So before I leave you guys, I have to make sure that you also take action upon this video so you don't forget about anything I just said. So that's why I came up with a very little exercise that you can do right after watching this video. So what I want you to do is you're gonna create your own new information diet. And how you do that is you make a new playlist on YouTube and you're only gonna put videos in there that are beneficial to you. So first of all, you're gonna really think to yourself what the topics are that you're currently interested in and that will benefit your life the most right now. The less topics and the more specific they are, the better in this case. Then once you have a couple of topics written down and you know what you want to learn about, then you're gonna go on YouTube and actually search for videos about the topic. And you can also implement the tip I gave you before by just first of all checking if there are any of your favorite YouTubers who already made a video on that topic. Because that way you know you're not getting clickbaited and that it actually holds value. But if you do find like some new creators who do seem interesting to you, you can just scan through their videos and see if they are actually valuable. Once you've added all the videos to the playlist here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna promise yourself that you won't be watching any other videos than the ones in the playlist and that you're only allowed to look for new videos again if you finish this playlist. I have done this exercise myself as well, so here you can see what my playlist looks like. So what you can see here is that I'm currently interested in identity shifting and storytelling. So I've searched up some videos about these topics of some YouTubers I already really like, like Clark Keckley and Channel Makers. And then I also added in some other interesting videos about these topics. Now that brings us to the end of the video here. Now if you actually vibe with the stuff that I'm saying in these videos and you want to see more of this, be sure to drop a like down below. That way more people also get to see this great video and that way it's a win-win for all of us. Now I'm not gonna let you wait any longer. As always remember that the motivation you have right now won't always be there so get started on the exercise I just gave you and actually change your life for once. Stop thinking, start doing. Take care.